if you are searching for a mid-size three-row luxury SUV that has the following features, a quiet interior, the third row is roomy enough for most adults, and it has an easy to use infotainment system in addition to many standard safety features. Well, you might find yourself taking a look at the 2022 version of the Cadillac XT6. I borrowed this model from my friends at Orr Cadillac here in Shreveport, Louisiana, and today we're gonna talk all about it. Starting off here with the exterior design on the front end, you have a very nicely designed headlight here, the low beam headlight housing there, and the really elegantly done daytime running lights. I like that. For those of you who don't use your blinker when you're driving down the road, here's a good reason to if you buy an XT6. Check out this blinker design right here. It's nice and large. It's not your typical blinker that's just sitting here underneath the headlight. I like what Cadillac has done right there. It matches the overall design of the vehicle in a very good way. Depending on what you want to have under the hood, you do have two different options. You can go with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, which is what we have here, or if that's not enough for you, you can go with the 310 horsepower 3.6 liter V6. Both are mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission and they are available in either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. So let's talk about what we have here. It's the 235 horsepower, two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder option. 235 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque. And what about those all-important in this day and age, MPGs? You're looking at 21 city, 27 out on the highway, and 23 MPGs combined. And one thing I would expect to see here, and it is here, is you've got the hydraulic struts to help open the hood up. That way, you don't have to hunt around for that manual prop rod that you have to put in place. At this price point, even though it's not the most expensive luxury SUV you can buy, I would expect that's what you would find. And in all four corners, you're going to find the 235-65 tires, 18-inch wheels. And here's the advantage of that 65 series sidewall. This is what I'm talking about right here. That's beneficial to ride quality. These XT6s have a smooth ride quality, and that is one of the reasons why. If you're ridden in a vehicle with lower profile tires, the reason the ride is so rigid is because it doesn't have as much sidewall to help in aiding to soak up the bumps when driving down the road. And a quick look at the remote. I know a lot of you like to know if it has remote start. You can see that that option is right there on the remote for you. A nice, sturdy, well-made remote. Another question a lot of people ask about turn signal indicators in the side view mirrors. Absolutely, they are right here. And something else that is here that a lot of people like to know about, the power folding side view mirrors. I will show those to you in action. And just an overall nice look with the chrome trim around the windows. You've got the privacy glass here in the rear, the roof rails, even the chrome door handles. They do have passive entry. And what that means is you can walk up to the vehicle when you have the remote on your person, push the button to lock and or unlock the interior. And no, I had somebody ask about this one time, so I'm gonna say it. No, that does not mean that when you're in the vehicle that somebody can just walk up and push that button from the outside and unlock the doors. It senses that the remote is inside the vehicle. Somebody can't just walk up and carjack you or get into your vehicle or anything like that. So that's good news if you're wondering about that. And here on the lower door sill, more of that chrome accent right there. I really like how that just finishes everything off. But I've got a neat little surprise to tell you about on the rear back here. Let's take a look at exactly what that is. One thing that I can say about the XT6 that I cannot say about all luxury SUVs that it competes with is that instead of having the rear window wiper just here in the open, it really just doesn't fit a vehicle like this. Cadillac has neatly tucked that rear window wiper away underneath the rear roof spoiler right here. Speaking of the rear window wiper, obviously you can keep that clean back here with windshield washer fluid for this rear window. But not only that, but every time you push the lever that you use to control the windshield wipers and the windshield washer fluid and all that on the right hand side of the steering wheel up there, here's what else happens. If you open up or bring up your rear view camera and it's dirty, for example, you can actually run that. It has a rear camera washer. In fact, 
every time you run this rear window washer, it automatically does that anyway, whether you see it or not. You obviously have a power rear lift gate here and quite a bit of space within the interior. Now, one thing I do want to cover real quick, you do have a nice little cargo area right here underneath the nice carpet that's actually fairly plush, fairly thick carpet right there. Underneath that is the door to get to some of the storage area underneath. And you might have noticed in the undercarriage shot that you didn't see a spare tire underneath this XT6. Well, that doesn't matter because it is here. It's actually under the floor. You just remove part of that and that's how you're going to get to it. And beyond cargo capacity back here underneath the floor in that storage area, you can also lower these rear seats. It's very easy to do. You're gonna pull on that strap and just kind of give it a little bit of a push you have a couple of different options here as far as your cargo capacity goes, ranging between 12.6 and 43.1 cubic feet. But that's not where it stops. Don't stop and say to yourself, wait a minute, the 48 cubic feet is not nearly enough. There are two switches over here on the right-hand side of the rear cargo area. In fact, let me get out of the way here and see if I can show you that in the shot. That's gonna allow you to lower the middle row seats. Everything can be done from right back here. That maximizes your cargo capacity to 78.1 cubic feet. There is definitely cargo space aplenty back here in the XT6. And before we talk about the middle row seat area and what you'll find here, let's talk about what you'll find in the rear seat area. And watch this. The good thing about it, I did say earlier that there's quite a bit of space back there. Notice how far I can move these seats up. Now, obviously, whoever's in the middle row seats need to be comfortable as well, but there is a lot more leg room in that rear seat area than you might expect, and definitely more than some other three row SUVs offer. You'll also find a couple of cup holders back there and USB connectivity on each side. So let me hop in here. We'll take a look. Obviously, cup holders right here with the armrest, and you have tri-zone climate control. You can control the climate back here in the rear area from the rear of the console. It can also be controlled for front and rear on that infotainment screen in the front. Connectivity options, and there's a little drawer down here. Quite a bit of space in there. There are some desks and people's offices that don't have that much space. There is quite a bit there. The pockets on the rear of the seats and the power shade, I haven't moved forward right now, but there is a panoramic sunroof right there that lets in plenty of light back here. It's very comfortable. Let me make sure I sit straight up. I have quite a bit of head space here. I'm five foot 10, so that'll give you an idea of how much room is back here. Now let's move to the front seat and see what you will find in that area as the driver. Okay, here we are in the interior. And for those of you who may want to know what the sound system sounds like, well, let's let you have a listen. I'm gonna give you the ability to listen through one of my videos on YouTube. Let's see if we can get that to play. Okay, so you can hear that and hopefully that gives you a good idea because I know a lot of the time I don't always do that. And try and start remembering to let you hear the sound system in these vehicles, obviously trying to avoid any copyright issues. So just using some video that I know is copyright free off of my own YouTube channel. So let's talk about what you'll find here. On the driver's side door, all the controls and switches you would expect to find there for controlling those power side view mirrors. You've got seat memory, everything you would expect there. Push button start, a nice looking instrument cluster, nice display with plenty of information you can go through with your steering wheel mounted controls. You also have your cruise control there and shifter paddles. There are multiple driving modes here. In fact, you have three driving modes. The mode selector is right in front of the console lid. You've got the traction control button. You can turn that on or off and you see the button that says mode right there. And you have three driving modes. You have tour, sport, and you have your snow and ice mode. So a little bit of everything there, depending on what your situation is. And a very nice overall look of elegance with the overall design here. You've got more of that brushed aluminum, kind of a chrome look around the air conditioning vents, making its way down here towards the center of the dashboard and then continuing on with a little bit of a break there above the controls for your dual zone climate control here in the front and then continuing on to the other side here on the driver's side. There's your push button start 
and a very simple to use but very effective infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are there. And if you're new to this kind of technology and you're saying to yourself, well, what is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? You pair your smartphone with the screen and your screen basically becomes your phone. It mirrors everything that's on the phone. You do have heated seats here, heated only, and on a day like this, they are not coming on. It is hot out here in Northwest Louisiana. And just an overall elegant look continuing here as we work towards the center console with the shifter to control that nine speed automatic transmission. You have the very nice looking shifter. It's not just your traditional shifter right there. I think that Cadillac has done a nice job with that. And you've got controls down here. Maybe you're stepping out of a Mercedes Benz that's a 2020 model or older that did not have the MBUX system and you're used to the trackpad and all of those manual controls where you didn't have a touch screen in those models. Well, you have kind of a similar system right here if you choose to use that with the dial indicator right here. With the dial right here, you can control everything on the screen. You can push down on that to select. Everything pretty easy to figure out. You can go home, you can go back. It's pretty easy. And the center console right here also, quite a bit of space down there more connectivity beyond what we've seen in other areas of the vehicle so there are a couple of options for usb ports down there and also quite a bit of space power seats that are very comfortable by the way and all of your controls up here for the power sunroof for opening and closing that shade and you also have a sunglass holder something we don't see in all vehicles anymore it seems but you have one here well, you might be wondering, after I told you about the engine that's under the hood, what is it like to drive the X-T6? Let's get out on the road and find out. And if you're wondering what's new for the 2022 model here, here are the two changes, and they're very good changes. Blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are now standard on all trim levels, and the sport models get Brembo performance brakes with red brake calipers. All right, here we go on our test drive. And for those who might wonder about the lower horsepower, two liter, four cylinder, I can tell you, it gets down the road with no problem. A lot of people ask about horsepower and question, is it enough? It really is enough. Now, obviously I don't have a bunch of people in the vehicle or cargo or anything like that, but judging by the way this model accelerates, and gets down the road, I don't think it's going to be a problem no matter what. Now, I am driving in sport mode just so I can get the most out of it, but even in your other modes, it's still going to get down the road with absolutely no problem. Now, going through the corner right there, we do get a little bit of body roll, but that's to be expected because you have a smoother ride. So, obviously, the less body roll you have, you're going to have a much more stiff suspension and shock package, so that means the vehicle isn't going to ride as well. Not that it's a big deal. This isn't a high-performance vehicle. I don't think somebody's going to go tracking their XT6, but it does seem to drive extremely well. The steering is nice and responsive. Leather-wrapped steering wheel, so that's comfortable. And one thing I didn't touch on earlier when we were talking about the interior features here in the front seat, you do have an adjustable steering wheel, fully adjustable, tilt and telescopically. There's just a little lever underneath here that you drop, and that allows you to adjust things to your liking. And one thing I like here, getting into a vehicle I'm not used to driving can have its challenges in adjusting to the feel of the brake pedal in some cases. Not so much here. It really has a nice balance. It's not soft and it's not overly aggressive. It really follows the balance of your foot. So it's very controllable. And overall, everything very easy to get to. When you pair your smartphone, for example, I'm talking about using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Well, obviously, you have the advantages of being able to use Siri and not being familiar with Android, so I can't really say much about that, but obviously there are you know, the same feature is there as well. You're just not using Siri, but you can still use your voice commands. All of that is there, very easy to use, very easy to figure out. And for those who maybe, again, I said this earlier, have never used this kind of technology before. You're stepping into a vehicle with the infotainment system and all of these new bells and whistles that a lot of people aren't used to. Well, don't worry about that. Don't let that scare you away. In the case of this Cadillac, 
it's super simple. All of the GM vehicles are that way. Very easy systems to learn and use. So what's not to like in that respect? Comfortable seating to complement the comfortable ride quality. Sometimes you'll hop into a vehicle where one or the other tends to cancel one out. So you have comfortable seating, but a rough ride quality with the shocks and suspension or the other way around. It's not that way here. I like that. Easy to see out of. You do have the option, it's not here, but you do have the option for the rear view camera mirror. If you want that, that definitely comes in handy when you have people sitting in the back seat there. You don't have to worry about being able to see around their heads. So that makes a really big difference in that respect. So now that we have the option, let's give it a little bit of an acceleration test. Not too bad. Yeah, actually getting up to a little bit more speed than I probably needed to a little bit quicker than I needed to. Overall, the driving experience in this XT6 is very nice. It has that comfortable ride quality and it really feels luxurious. One of the things here that I really like about the XT6 is that it doesn't break the bank for what it is. A lot of the higher end luxury SUVs, three row luxury SUVs like this, are gonna cost more. A little bit more of a reasonable price point here with this particular model. So tell me down in the comments section if you plan to buy a 2022 Cadillac XT6, what trim level, what engine option, do you want front wheel drive or all wheel drive? Tell me all about how you are going to spec yours out. I gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at Or Cadillac in Shreveport, Louisiana for loaning me this XT6 for the day so I could tell you about it. And a special thanks to all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that's on the screen right now and I will see you there.